hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel so in this video i wanted to do the tie-dye ombre that i've been seeing all over instagram i don't even know who to credit with the original idea but it's so unique it's so cute and it really uh gives me a strong summer vibe which i'm loving right now i just want summer to officially be here already i think it's like june 1st which is my birthday if you didn't know um, but yeah, I think that's when the summer is official in June 1st. Let me know if I'm wrong. I'm using Eno Couture nail forms today and I never use these. Um, I tried them one time when I got them. I didn't like them because they were not super sticky. But trying them out again today, I actually do F with them. I actually do like them. And all of the colors I'm using today are from JC Beauty Concepts. All of these neon shades are from their neon collection except for the teal is from their pastel collection uh yeah i believe that's right and then i have like two different hot pinks here one of those is in the neon collection and one of those they just sell on the site separate and all of my nude shades are also jc beauty and i'll be calling out their name to you in a second so um as you guys know when i do my thumb it's kind of like my experiment nail trying to get a feel for how i want to do this set because i've never done this before and I do want these to be long, so I'm taking them almost to the end of the form. I'm stopping right at this pink line here. And um, yeah, by the way, subscribe. Do you like my new little graphic that I made? Subscribe, sis, subscribe. But so my thought was, why don't I put down a base color and then swirl the colors on top? But I ended up not really liking this. It kind of made the nail a little bit on the bulky side. So I do change this up on the other fingers eventually. Um, and I kind of come up with my own just willy-nilly type of method. I feel like there's no way to do this wrong. You can be as detailed as you want or as messy as you want. I kind of switched it up on each finger so you guys can get a feel for it. Um, so I'm just picking these up. You want to work kind of wet. I feel like these neon shades set a little bit quickly. I was expecting to have some more time to swirl them around on the nail, but they were like ready to set right away. So this is Cover Blush. I love this color. I will probably always like reach for this color. I feel like it just covers so well and it goes with everyone's skin that I've used it on. Everyone loves this color so much. And also I'm taking this color called Soft Pink and I feel like Soft Pink is kind of like the milky version of Cover Blush. Um, so I'm using that to facilitate my ombre here and make it a really nice seamless blend So I put that in between the tie-dye and the nail bed color Then I will just cap the rest of the nail with clear acrylic and that is basically it for this ombre um, I'm using the number 12 oval alpha brush So um, yeah, you guys will see me change the technique up on the other fingers I start to just like pick up more than one color or I make the base layer like three different colors and then I kind of like add detail on top. But like I said, there's no wrong way to do this. You are the, um, you are the master of your tie-dye. You are the, um, I don't know, you're in control of how you want it to look, I guess. Um, by the way, I just want to say thank you to everyone in Notification Gang for coming and checking on my video. As soon as you got the notification, that means so much to me, like honestly. Thank you. I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of my application and I will be back um, around the time of filing. I did leave in the filing in this video. By the way, how stunning. Oh my God, this teal really did it for me in this set. I, I really am not a teal person, don't know why. I really should put some respect on teal, but this teal just slayed my entire life it looks so freaking pretty with the rest of these colors you guys wow wow no words so i hope you guys like the application i'll be back around filing to tell you guys what's good so please continue to keep watching and i hope you like the tunes <laughs> in this video <laughs>
So right when I get towards my pinky nail, it's like everything starts falling in shambles. I think it's just really hard to deal with my pinkies for whatever reason. I'm using my beloved Smooth Top Todak USA uh, drill bit and my medical um, e-file. I honestly always forget which um, number it is. 
uh, but anyways I'm just filing these nails I ended up not hand filing these because when I hand file my nails they pop off since I have a base coat under here and hand filing is just so rigorous and like intense I find that when I e-file it's not making the nails pop off so I don't have to take them off they're actually still on my hands right now I haven't even taken them off yet so it's such an awesome method if you're looking for a way to do your nails and pop them off right after put a peel off base coat or like some type of latex um, base coat thing put that on your natural nails and start building your nails up like usual you can even put a tip on if you want you know no limits to that and then when you're done pop it right off but yeah I definitely don't recommend hand filing because it's just gonna make them come right off you can always glue them back though just put some more base coat and then put some glue and put the nail back on it's just a lot of hassle that I didn't want to go through but this is my filing I don't show every finger because I don't want this video to be so ridiculously long um, I guess I do like these nail forms I love the length the length is like the perfect length it is not too long and it's not too medium or short for me um, I will definitely reach for these forms again. I actually love them. I liked all the markings on them. They were a little bit stiff. They're kind of made of like cardboard type of mater material like it felt like. It wasn't really like a plastic feeling, but I feel like they worked out pretty well for my square shape I'm trying to go for these days. If you're trying to do some type of like pointed uh, or really tapered shape, you might hate it. But yeah, so I'm taking all these colors. These are like Madame Glam colors and the nude is like McCart, but of course whatever neon colors you have will work for this. I'm gonna do a uh, quick little 3D mold with these lollipop molds I found and um, just putting some gel in here. This is the easiest way for me. If I had to do it with acrylic, it would have been really um, time consuming and probably wouldn't have looked as good. The gel really kind of like melts together and you just cure that in the lamp and it comes out perfectly fine. You have yourself a nice cute little lollipop. And I end up doing two of these and I just feel like it goes so well with the actual design itself. I didn't want to make these too boring. I think it does look stunning when there's nothing on these nails all by themselves just like matte. It's a really great look but I felt like for the video I wanted to give it a little spice so I went with the 3D nail art and here I am applying my Presto Matte Top Coat Gel. Do you guys know that um, Bible story where <laughs> like something, I forget, Christ was doing something and it was like a never ending wine and never ending fish to feed all these people. That's how I feel about this matte top coat. <laughs> it always comes through with more products when I think I'm out of it and I'm able to keep using it. It's insane. Um, as I got down to my pinky, there's even more gushing out of the bottom, just like how, like I don't understand. I don't understand it all, but I guess laying it on its side is the trick to getting it all like pulled out. Eventually I'm gonna have to crack and buy another one, but I'm just so cheap, like I can't, I really can't. <laughs> I have to use it all up first. So yeah, I really needed these to be matte. I don't feel like it looks the same when it's shiny. It is of course stunning. I feel like I did a really good job on my blending too. Like it's not too blended. It's not too defined. I feel like I did pretty good. I don't usually give myself props, but I think I need a pat on my back for this one, you guys. Give me my pats, give me my thumbs. Yes, okay, so this is after curing it and wiping off the tacky layer and I'm using Zuli's bling adhesive to put on my um, lollipops and Zuli's bling adhesive glue it did leave this little bit of um, residue that was unsightly so I went back with the matte top coat and kind of like cleaned up around that shiny area with the glue and then I had some AB stones like sitting out that I didn't finish using from my last design and I kind of just out of lazy to out of laziness of not wanting to put them back, I just put them on this design. Really could have done without it, but also trying to spice this up and make it cute to look at, fun to look at, eye-catching, whatever you want to call it. Um, whatever reason, I had a really big problem putting them on this middle fingernail. I think I pulled them off like twice and redid it because it looked crooked which I cannot stand, you guys. I cannot stand when my stones are like off center even by a little bit. It drives me freaking crazy. I don't know why I'm like that. Um, and my stone picker is from Banggood. It is so nice. I love having a pointy katana. 
If your crystal katana is super um, flat by now, you can go ahead and get you a pointy one from Banggood for like $8. And of course, y'all know I had to take you out with me to look at these nails in the sun because indoors would not have done it justice whatsoever. How freaking cute. I cannot, I cannot deal. It's so pretty. Anyways, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, please let me know. Leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload from me. I would hate for you to miss out on all of the looks that I have coming for you guys because, oh, are they coming? Boy, they are coming. Oh, look at this prop. I forgot I did that. Yeah, I'm loving like doing props with my outros. It just adds something for me. And go check out my Insta photos because they came out super cute follow me on insta if you want to be in the know of early release of what's coming or whatever but yeah you guys thank you so much i hope you have an amazing day or night i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all in my next one bye